Yeah, yeah, fight with me. This is really good. So you pull this guy's crosshair. But the problem is he's not um, looking at you. So this is an error on your end. Because this Sova is not turning to shoot at you, you need to keep shooting this guy. You should be killing him. You see how you unswing? But this Sova has been laser focused on your Phoenix this entire time. This is an error. That Sova should have died to us. You need to slow it down and kill him. So you didn't, you didn't do what you thought you did here. You see? That was a straight 50, unfortunately. And now this is another straight 50. So you act, you literally, this, this is, if you're below the rank of immortal in chat, this does not apply to you. Okay. PSA. When you're immortal and up, you do need to be paying attention to where the enemy is looking when you enter a gunfight. So for example, Silent X, I know for a fact that if this were a dry fight, like this remove everyone from the map, except the Sova. Okay. If this is the scenario right now, Silent X is taking the fight in a very clear way. He's standing still, lining up his first shot and taking it. And then if Sova's still not adjusted, he's taking another shot. But otherwise, um, when Sova comes to aim at him, then Silent X will strafe left, almost certainly. Do you know why he'll strafe left? Can you like guess? It's because he's going to strafe opposite to the way the Sova has to aim. He doesn't want to walk closer to Sova's aim. He wants to walk away from it. So it's got nothing to do with this safety here. Like in the wide open, the same concept applies. So here, let's just pretend we have an enemy right there who's looking U-Haul. The moment they start looking at us, we're going to walk this way. It's got nothing to do with cover and everything to do with when this guy starts aiming at us, we're going to walk away from their crosshair. So your gunfight macro here is really bad. You should be completely stationary at this point. So if it's not looking at you, you should take more time to aim at this guy's head. And once he looks at you, in this scenario now with everyone alive, it's not necessarily wrong to duck to cover, okay? So in this scenario, I'm down for you to duck to cover because you'd be ping-ponging with Phoenix. But just understand that if this were a dead 50, that walking left would be better, probably. This is subjective. Valorant's like, gunfights are really deep. It's a fighting game almost. There's no correct play. But as long as you're thinking about these things, you're chilling. And you're clearly not thinking about these things, so you're not chilling. Has this ever happened to you? Defenders win. We've all been there. But thanks to the generous members of the Knowers Club, not only can I help you get less of these, Defenders win. but you can even earn Valorant gift cards for successful improvement, all live on stream. Order now at discord.gg slash wuhujin or I'm taking the world to pipe. Don't try me, I'll do it. Like see, he's not looking at you. That Silver committed to a craft spray and you're already, you're out of the fight. That's really bad, really bad. We should have won that round. If this was like 10's POV, even if he has your aim, okay? Like your aim, he rushes shots just like you, 10's would win this round, which means you had the capability of winning this round with your current mechanical skill. The problem is you didn't identify that he's not looking at you, okay? It's not like a mechanics issue. It's not, oh, I should have hit my shots. It's, oh, I didn't notice he was shooting my Phoenix. That's a problem. You weren't even looking for that. Yeah, and so we lose the round. Wow, that's quite literally your fault. That's really tough. Oh my God, you have four ping? Okay, okay. These concepts I just explained to you are even more important. Uh, if your ping is below 20, then these concepts are about five times more effective. Okay, this is, is it's really important that you pay attention to where the enemy is looking. If you're on like 50 ping, you actually wouldn't want to play this way. Um, you don't have time to react to them aiming at you to then move. By the time uh, they aim at you, they've already like adjusted. Yeah, I'm not going to just gamble and die. Coming to Kyoja. Okay, this is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. Why don't you expect her to be here? Oh, I'm going to put a pave him because to me, it's like really obvious that Killjoy is like highly likely in window right now. Killjoy can absolutely push with the team with that turret. You see, like with this turret, Killjoy can easily scale quite far up. However, we saw the enemy omen grass and the omen didn't fight us when we broke their turret. Why? Why would he just go this way? Chilling. The only reason he'd come this way and ignore you is if he knows that you're not a problem. He knows that somebody else is dealing with it. This person playing window is probably controlling you. And what I would actually expect of them is to play like this type of angle, angle advantage on you. And when you peek, they're going to lay you out. This is what I was expecting her to do. And so I wanted you to daddy peek this like this and kill her if you saw her, which would have been giga clean. And then if you didn't see her, I'd also be down to like even shoot through the wall here. 
Like really assiduous. I hear your knife out when you were, you're dead right now to this angle. She sees you already right here. And now, of course, she's here and we just died. When you see like tens just randomly shoot walls like that, it's not that he's just being a goofball. There's He gets kills with that shit like one in every 20 spams. But because he does it so often, people think he's like a god. They think he's a wall hacker. Because they forget all the misses. They just remember the one time he randomly flicked window through the wall and headshot them. And it gets clipped and posted on Twitter. You can be the same. Okay. After you kill Jet and you dash this way, I would probably smoke myself. You're you're wired the wrong way right now. It's five versus two. Stay alive because you have five HP. Your team is going to win this round. Right? We're playing a high elo, man. Like four immortals with rifles Here. against two immortals with the specters. You're chilling. You have five HP. Come over here and save your rifle. See how you're peeking out? You're like already swinging more. If this guy was actually looking at you when he swung out, he kills you. And now you're down a, a rifle. And same here. Right after you kill the omen, you see what you do? It's like natural for you to swing out more. Watch, you kill Omen, and what do you do? You're walking right. You're like, where's my fight? No, chill, chill, chill. Okay, nice plan. You don't want that. I'm holding that rotate. I'm holding that rotate. You guys just go. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see what you mean by holding that rotate. Because containing is really good here. Um, if you play alone correctly. So I'm gonna like predict the future. If you contain them like this, just to get info that they're leaving and make presence to slow them down and then like play passively you come over here take another fight this is good but if you come out wide like this then it's a really bad play because you're alone 4v2 you're gonna give them what they want not yet yeah, i knew it it's very easy to predict the, the mistakes you're gonna make you know mortal one you have the right play but you don't want to give this fight in this scenario if this was four versus five i'm super down okay i'm like super down for this but it's not I play counter. bad crosser placement the radiant player is aiming here do you know why i'm sure you know why and i'm sure you're like kicking yourself that you're not doing it because it's so much cooler don't you remember pistol round Rui? we're 555 right now look they jump spotted See, this is the type of team who scales C with a jump spot first. You know this. And so here, you should be aiming right here. And if they jump spot, oh my God, they're going to be pissed. You're holding for jump peak here, and this is way too low. You're, if you're also holding for jump peak, you literally need to be up against the wall. So your technique is wrong. Let me explain. So the jump peeker is never swinging on you, right? First, they're jumping. And so they're always coming back to cover. Generally speaking, that means that to maximize the amount of time you have to click them, you want to be right up against the wall because that's their body will never leave this pixel. It won't come out wider. So you hold like right here. And when you register their jumping, you click. Ooh. Okay, this is risky. They've got breach ult. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be a really difficult thing. But you've basically committed to fighting. I'm down, okay? I'm down. I could totally see Tens or JG, Kemi, any like really high or low jet player who's hit Radiant before. I could see them go for this peak and I could see them miss out the Killjoy, back up and smoke. Now, what you need to learn to do is walk into your own smoke with this shorty. In these types of scenarios, you have to come here and give it to them. There, there's no running away. This is time. I'm sure now that I say that, you've seen it a million times. I don't even think they ulted it. Like if we look at the minimap, if we pretend you're in that smoke right now, look. It's literally not hitting us. It's not hitting us over here. I'm not gonna up and see this round. Why? Why are you gonna up where Killjoy's holding? I think you're too worried about like air quoting being predictable or something. So you're thinking I have to float with the op or whatever. No, you don't. They think you have to do that too. It doesn't hurt to play A four rounds in a row. You should be A right now. Just look at the mini map. Wait, uh, can someone help uh, Omen on A? Yeah, see? <laughs> uh, I can, I can it's too late. You're asking for somebody to go help them when you're here with the killjoy with eight okay, seconds left. With this is way better. This pre-round formation is sick. 
I would stay right here. You're like winning. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, it's okay. Uh, spike on base. Stop wiggling, please, for the love of God. Stop moving. Standing with you. Dude, stop. What the fuck? Oh, see, see. All of this time, if one dude lurks A and peeks you, you're dead. Rui. Rui, you don't need to be on the box. Chill. Oh, 67, KJ. Why are you leaving? Oh, no. Dead by, dead by, dead by. Dude, this KJ this reeks of A retake, no? Yeah, they're smoking A. Dude. That's it. Sorry, ready. Where are we? Where are we? You're too high elo to rotate this fast in that scenario. You have an op. It's different. Look at the main map. If they come C, it's lit. Well, we've got Killjoy, Phoenix. Standing to if they come A right now, well, minus all of this, you're dead. But now if they come, well, well, now, if you're holding like a normal person, it's lit. They make contact with our Killjoy C side. They make contact with our Phoenix. Phoenix gets one. Dude, doesn't this intuitively feel like they're going to come A? It like feels so A to me. Like I can smell it. Yeah, and we just lose the whole round because you gave up sight. No, what the fuck are you doing? What? Phoenix, I'll hold your window. Walk grass. The up posts up. Hold space for the teammate. Very rarely, but sometimes acceptable. You can walk out like this if you have a teammate holding your window for you. But generally, the op should be the one holding the angle. So other examples that are really good on this map. Phoenix, I'm holding your C long. You can walk into Cubby. And once he gets there, you leave and you go help holds B or A. Uh, you could do similar on A, but A is the worst of the three. So I would say this is the best one on Haven. The op post here. You have a teammate walk grass. That's the highest conversion. C, I'd rate number two. And then the A one is really situational, but you can post up lobby like this and have your teammate walk up wide like this so they're not exposed. And they try to get into this type of position. This can be good too. Okay, and now this yeah. is good. Like now I like it. What? Oh, dude. Dude, what are you doing? This is lit. 2A, 2C with a crazy advantage Phoenix angle. Worse, like it's lit. You leave so fast. Should be A, honestly. You're literally like, should be A. Dude, it is C. Why do you think it should be A? We haven't seen anything. This team is just doing nothing and you're throwing rounds because you're getting nervous. <laughs> what the f Oh my god. Dude, why would you walk forwards here? And then you peek the Sova with your op? Your technique, Rui. Your technique. You rotate too fast and the fights you take are bad. Because you're so mobile with the op. The moment that guy kills your killjoy and you're here, you should be smoking, grabbing that vandal, and then chilling because your teammates are coming. Why are you so rushed to peek him with an op at hecking seven meters? No, you're doing this shit again? Bro, what the f? Rui, you're so disrespectful. Do you play like unrated all day long or some shit? You play with your, your gold friends and you fucking cook at unrated? No. Swift play? No. What are you doing? Why why do we why are we so disrespectful? What's wrong with being a gold friend? Nothing. I'm just wondering where this insane level of disrespect is coming from our play. Like you're just way too over aggressive. No. No, 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 no. This is like when I tell bronze players to play more aggressive and then they just blindly push shit and die in 1v4s. Don't conflate the word aggression with bad pre-round planning. You wanted to take space aggressively. That's what you wanted to do. That's Good. You can do that. The problem is how you took space aggressively. You took it poorly. It has nothing to do that you wanted to be aggressive. That's good. I want you to be aggressive. Okay? Don't get more passive. No. I want you to be aggressive. If you want to take grass, then take fucking grass. But don't take it alone. Because you can't. You can't take grass control alone on Haven. You should know that. But it's not an aggression problem. It's a, it's a lack of aggressing properly. If you want to aggress grass and you have an operator... You probably want Phoenix to peek grass on your behalf while you hold his window. That's way better.
So don't try to dial it back. Try to think about how to aggress the most appropriately. So if you're thinking, I want to fight grass, perfect. How do we get to that the correct way? Because I think you as an immortal one player, you sort of have an idea for these things. I, I'm sure you understand that it's bad to do this alone. You shouldn't be walking out alone like this. You can run out, we, we can default, we can default. Oh, okay. If you're gonna round four up, then I expect to see your read in this pre-round comp. Who peeks aggressively? I'm upping. I got peek C-Long. Why are you upping C-Long? Who peeks C-Long? I am not against this, but I'm very against it if you don't have a read. You're trying to kill them jump spotting? That's not That's not good enough for me. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't buy the op to kill jump spotter. You're the entry frag. The only entry frag. Phoenix doesn't have a mobility. I would buy the op if you're pretty confident they dry peek. Any angle. Like if you even think all you have to do is calm your jet peaks. See? Pretty... I'm going to try opping and I'd be super on board. Okay. But trying to kill a jump spot. I don't know if you kill them, I'll give it to you because I am results oriented at this point. Let's see. Yeah, your technique's bad. You see how you had to aim? You see how if your crosshair was just here and instead of aiming, you just shot the moment you registered an enemy on your screen Then you would have shot. Let's see when you would have shot. Now, you see how you're moving up? Because you're moving up right now, that means you realize he's there. And so you would have shot right now and he's dead. Problem is your technique is wrong. You're trying to aim. Why are you trying to aim? You should have pre-aimed him if you thought he would jump spot. And now they know you have an op and you're actually losing this round statistically. So me personally, as an opper, I don't buy op if I know somebody jump spots. Um, because I don't find it converts enough for me personally. I'm not him. Okay. But if you are him and you're like, yeah, I killed the jump spotter 80% of the time if I know they're jump spotting and you do this and you kill them, then I will not complain. I'll be like, okay, nice. But the problem is you tell me you read that they're jump spotting. Then you aim here. They jump spot. You try to aim up to shoot him. You miss. It's, it's untenable. You can't play the game like this. It's too loose. Your, your play is not disciplined enough. Your decision making is hopeful instead of robotic. Look, you see, watch right here. It's perfect. I personally would hold a bit wider, but I don't care as long as you hit the shot. But watch, you just wiggled. Did you see that? You just wiggled again. Did you see that? Your dot wasn't clear right here. You're not accurate. Why? Why are you doing this micro movement? You don't have a reason other than it's just a habit. We need to eliminate this from your gameplay because it's bad. It's suboptimal. You can't buy an op expecting the jump spot and then not hold the jump spot correctly. You can't hold flank and then be moving. You can't aggress A alone. You're not allowed. You want to hit Radiant? This, these, these obvious simple mistakes have to be completely removed from your play so that we can talk macro. There's so much wrong with your macro and we can't even really talk about it because these bad habits are just clouding the VOD. You just died. You can't peek windows dry with an op. You literally just died. Anybody holding this correctly kills you with a single shot because you're peeking with an op, which is a slower weapon, and you're shift peeking. You literally just died to an Immortal 3 player, not even a Radiant player. You'll never get there peeking like this. You can't hit Radiant with this peek. This shit's holding you back. You'll you'll cap at 200 RR and wonder why you can never hit Radiant. If you want peek window with an Ego, with the op, so first you can clear Garage here. This is actually fine because it's unlikely they've peeked out yet. All you do, this is tough, but you jump up onto this ledge. And this gives you good odds. So this guy's holding you. You jump onto that ledge and then shoot them. Um, it's unlikely they're going to one tap you. So if you've got that ego and you feel them holding you, you have to jump onto this ledge and take your shot. I personally wouldn't do this, but I'm also I'm out of form. I would do that when I was on my jet arc. I'm not going to lie. I absolutely would. Peek them like a goddamn thousand RR peak. Onto the ledge, dash away. That shit is... Here. That shit's clean. But you're shift peeking this guy's Marshall back wall. A, a trash ass 200 RR immortal is killing you. Two flank. Two, two flank. One enemy remaining. Ooh, don't move. No, don't peek him. Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's not on the bomb yet. You had this shit. Dude, you're about to hit your clip. 
Why are you peeking on 6 HP with angle disadvantage in an operator? You just threw away the round. This guy's a solo queue teching trash immortal one. Kill him. You know how you kill him? Here's how I'm doing it. I'm holding over here to negate his hecking giga angle advantage if he hugs deep wall and peeks me. I'll just die if he does that. That would suck, wouldn't it? And so I'm not going to give him this angle. I'm going to hold over here. Bam. Chilling. But also, before I do that, now this is because I'm kind of different. I'm doing that. I'm hucking my classic right there because this guy gets audio that I'm no longer opping. And now he pushes me because I'm 6 HP and he has a rifle against my 6 HP rifle and I blast his ass into the shadow realm because I'm so much fucking better at the game. All you do is toss your classic over here and hold. Don't give angle advantage. And now this is going to peek you because you're 6 HP and he wants to fight your vandal. And you literally just lock him up in your fucking domain expansion and you're like get shit on you immortal noob you're never gonna reach radiant like i am okay that's the play if you did that and you lost i would give you s plus but because you're peaking with op you're minim minimizing your odds of winning the round you need to understand i'm not winning this most of the time i'm just trying to maximize my odds and that that classic throw is like it's gonna increase your odds here and you have to you can't hold like dude they can peek you far wall you're throwing you're not thinking about individual fights as like a fighting game and I can tell. Like throwing the classic on the ground there is so obviously uh good for me. Let's go. Oh Well we can go away, go away. Okay, okay. You're about to misplay it though. It's pissing me off dude you're so close to playing perfect rounds do you get that you're you've got mechanics you're confident you're fast but you're about to misplay and you know why literally all you have to do after you kill that breach is be like yo 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 come see come see i've got two guns you grab this and huck it and then grab this come back bro you're winning you just got your team two specters and instead you're gonna grab one peek and die and your team will be able to get neither of them because you want to hit your TikTok clip. Let's go. Let's go. Bring the Spectre. Oh my God, it's a Vandal. Dude. I think he has an op. Dude. You'd be so much cooler if you hucked the guns back. It Like, do you see? You have to take every single inch they give you. You just killed three of them seaside. You know what that means? It means C is totally safe right now. You have at least 10 seconds before anybody comes. See, so bring those guns out. You're winning. So win. Don't give them an inch. Think of uh, Valorant like a chess game. And the, the greatest chess players historically were the Russians back in the uh, 1900s. And it's because the way that Russians approached chess was to minimize the amount of counterplay their opponents had. They wouldn't go for like the fun, creative lines. They'd go for the dry lines with like minimal counterplay that would lead to a 500 move long, slow win for them because it's winning. And why does it matter? I just want to win. And that shit was extremely dominant. I think Shofa, you come as well. Okay. Let so we have to assume they have a shotgun short right now because uh, there's nothing aim in whatsoever. So let's see how you do with a potential shotgun. No, I I Take don't smoke it, don't smoke it. You and Sova just both died. So when you're scaling here, you have to hug back wall. You're not respecting their shotgun. Why are you giving them an inch? Why wouldn't you peek it this way? Because when you're Sova drones, this guy with their judge is going to jump out. Start blasting. And you're here. You died. You're here they died your your rank is underinflated. you should be even higher you're cracked as hell this point general tons of bad habits too disrespectful read i'm not saying to play more passively i'm saying to aggress space more assiduously i want you to be aggressive so in no particular order wiggling while holding with up stop that Buying attack sided up without coming a clear read on how it converts a kill. Stop that. Try peeking angles that would lead to death if the enemy was half competent. Stop that. You're disrespecting too much. Over rotating on defense. Uh, not trusting teammates to stop that. 
Yeah. You got to fix this. We have to get way, way, way more discipline with our individual play. And then we can talk teamwork next time. There's a lot wrong with the macro, but I don't want to talk macro and leave all of those gaps in your play. Thank you for the VOD.